All right, everybody start freaking out because the LG G3 is available for pre-order right now. And you know what that means? It's time to put ourselves into debt purchasing a display we definitely shouldn't be buying in the hopes that it'll fill the void in our I mean in our hearts left by our Boy Scout leader and part-time local priest, Tom. But will the LG G3 bring a big enough load to truly fill us up, or should you purchase the Samsung S95C instead? Well, let's take a painfully close look to find out. So first of all, the LG G3 has men all over the world more excited than they've been in years because allegedly it'll be increasing brightness substantially over last year's model, thanks to a new tech called MLA, which helps focus and recapture lost light, meaning we could finally have an incredibly bright OLED on our fingers. Now, this is a huge deal because if the alleged 2100 nits it can achieve turns out to be true, then this will allow the display to get bright enough to really punch you in the with eye-popping highlights, the likes of which we've only really ever seen on mini LED displays. But unlike mini LED, OLED will give you the incredible response times and perfect per pixel dimming you've come to expect. So it all sounds great, but how realistic is 2100 nits and will it actually look good? Well, here's where I have a few concerns. First of all, 2100 nits, much like the 2000 nits Samsung display was allegedly able to hit on their second gen quantum dot OLED panels, which it sounds more like 1300 to 1400 nits is more realistic on the S95C, is probably not gonna happen happen and even if it does it'll likely be with one eye closed in vivid mode in a one percent window after slamming your head on the desk for half a second i mean 2100 nits would be more than double the brightness of most 2022 oleds and just isn't realistic but that being said i do believe it'll have higher peak brightness than the s95c likely by 100 to 200 nits but at what cost personally I'm still skeptical of MLA technology until I finish my full review of the LG G3, as I'm concerned it could cause color or brightness issues when viewed at an angle. Now, I think the claims are that that's not going to be the case, but we'll have to wait and see. And that's not the only reason you might want to consider the S95C. There's two other things Samsung's doing that has me as hard as a diamond. One, Quantum Dot OLED appears to have higher brightness when vibrant color is displayed on screen, which means even though the G3 may get brighter, it actually could fall short in many scenes. Two, Samsung has 144 Hertz native support on their 2023 models, something LG desperately needs to add if they want PC gamers to stick all over, I mean, stick with them. Ultimately, I think both TVs will bring incredible picture when it comes to watching movies and the final decision will be the price and features. But if you're a maniac like me who uses a TV for PC gaming because it's just better, then the S95C will be the clear choice, unless the G3 overclocks like a demon. So if you're chubbing out over the LG G3, I highly suggest waiting for reviews and specifically mine before making your final decision. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a single tantalizing second of my deep dive review as soon as I get it finished. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their Rupro AK HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes ranging from 3 to 165 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second, a bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K at 60 FPS or 4K at 120 FPS HDR10 video through its ultra thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports eARC. So, if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.